You know, one of the things that I try to tell clients the importance of these grooming, you know, services that we're going to do. So we'll restrain her and then we'll start with, let's start with the nails first. I've never sedated her, okay. so we really don't need to do that. We'll start with the nails, then we'll go to the wings, and then we'll do the beak last. Okay. And um, so that'll be a good Sounds thing. Good. Okay, hi, chicken. All right. and you're ready? ready? Yes, and you've got one towel with you. Yes. Hi, chicken. Are you ready to come out? I know. You're going to want to fly out. You're good, chicken. Oh, hi, chicken. It's okay. It's okay, chicken. You're good. It's okay, chicken. It's okay, chicken. It's okay, chicken. All right. Let me get you good. Yeah, there you go. Sorry, oh. I don't want to shut the door off. That's okay. That's okay. I got it right here. Okay, chicken, come here. We've got one towel. Let's walk the bird. Walk the birdie. Walk the birdie. Where are you? Where are you, chicken? Isn't that funny, chicken? All right, there we go, Brandy. There's her head and her body. And good. Good job. Good job, chicken. All right, let's assess and see what we've got with her. And what's going on there. Also want to make sure that we can wash her feet. Mm -hmm. All right, so she's looking good. Hi, are you okay? Yes. Wow, they're really sharp, aren't they? Yeah, they you are. know, it's really interesting because most clients, even though they have natural purchase for them, but they don't realize that these sharp nails can get caught on towels or on clothing or on furniture. And getting mm -hmm. caught that way, they'll rip them. Mm -hmm. They'll just rip those nails right off. So we're going to do a nice trim with this Dremel at low speed. I need to make sure we don't make them bleed. And sometimes if the quick is too long, it doesn't matter. Can you grab that one right there? Even if the quick is uh, short, sometimes, unfortunately, we will make them bleed. We don't mean to, but it does happen. Okay, I think we're good on that one. All right, let me go ahead now and just do a little bit of smoothing. I know. I'm sorry, that doesn't hurt. I haven't nicked any of them. You know, Brandy, with um, having nails, there's vessels in there and there's nerves in there. And what a, pop, a lot of people don't realize is if you grab those and make them bleed, it actually is quite painful, so... We'll put a little bit of Vaseline to kind of lubricate that and soften her little feet. And those feel nice and smooth. Good. Okay. Let's do her Probably other one. Her no, you? I think you're good. Right. I think I can get it from here. Big, long. Um, I know, chicken. Just relax. Good, chicken. Can you just hold on to that bottom one? There we go. Good, chicken. You're good. You're good. No, no pain. No pain. You're gay. I just want to go back as far as I can. I can and I can tell by the arch see I know that I'm almost there okay let, let me have this one I know you're okay chicken it's okay baby it's okay I know no you're good nothing hurts there you're good okay let's do this little small one it actually helps to have long nails to retain these but huh. good baby Good baby. Okay, if you can hold on to that one. Oh, you're fine. You're fine, chicken. Good. Good job. Let's go ahead and smooth those out. We'll just smooth those out. Yes, we will. Smooth them out. Smooth them out so they're not sharp. You know, I, I'm pretty sure most owners would be able to teach their birds how to do this, but I think... They get so traumatized by the owners restraining them that it would get to the point where now they're not friendly with the owner. So I really encourage them to come get this done here. All right, let's go to the wings. You're okay. in great position. Biggest mistake everybody makes is they want to trim just one side. They need to trim both. If not, the bird can glide, maybe not fly, but can glide and they can still get from tree to tree. And I've had clients lose their birds. The other thing that I hate is when they chop up all their primary and secondaries. So what we want to do is, you know, we have our primary feathers, our secondaries, and then our coverts. And I like to just trim like the first 
four or five on either side. And I'd like to do the contour of the secondaries, making sure that we're not cutting a blood feather. And you can always tell, this little guy doesn't have any blood feathers. Let's see if we can find one on the other side. But you can always tell which is the blood feather, which is a growing feather. So at this point, we've done one, two, three, four, five. It doesn't seem like he's got any more of those cuts, so I think we're good. I'm just going to cut this one back underneath those secondaries. Make it look pretty. Yeah, nice and pretty. We want it to be nice and smooth and pretty. I know, I know. Okay, let's take a look at them underneath. That looks good. That looks good. It's a little bird wash. Little wash, little wash. Looks good. And you've got the nice pretty contour of those secondary feathers there. Okay, let's go to the other side. Yes. You know, they... Um, check these other scissors. Okay. Let's try the other side. Okay, it's okay, little buddy. It's okay, little buddy. Again, no blood feather seen, so we'll just, ah, uh, oh, there's a blood feather. And you can see, Brandy, how that blood feather has that blood. I mean, that's a new growing feather. You can see how there's a shaft and the new feather that's growing. There's another baby blood feather coming in. So we do have some blood feathers compared to a regular growth already grown out feather. So let's see if we can cut the first, again, first five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then we'll check it over those secondary feathers. Make sure they're not that looks good. Those look good. All right, let's just trim a little bit more underneath there. We're done. Good. Pretty let's, pretty. yeah. Pretty, pretty. And then last but not least, let's go back to the beak. Yeah. And then the beak, many times they have cracks. Beaks are like hooves. They're like nails. You don't want them cracking. You want to be able to catch them in time and be able to smooth it out. So this little guy does too too bad we'll need a little speculum for that but um that's looking pretty good i mean his beak doesn't look too too bad we'll use a really low speed and a little bit higher speed so are we ready here we go oh don't bite he's ready he's ready don't bite all right let's let's round up that uh, tip a little bit i know shorten that a little bit and again, it's working with the bird's anatomy. And then we'll do a little bit on the top. Smooth that out. And then the bottom. So we don't want that beak to continue cracking. Now we'll do a little antiseptic wash on this gauze so we can clean his beak again. And we'll come back and we're going to now use a lower speed Dremel to try to smooth that out. Smooth out all of those little cracks and bumps and just give him a nice smooth texture on that. Again, you know, I just, in, in wild brandy, they'll go ahead and do this on tree bark on rocks, on harder surfaces. I just don't know that most pet owners provide enough of those enrichment materials for them, you know? Uh -huh. Okay, we're just moving out that lower beak, getting out all those cracks. He's just tugging everything. Birds just feel everything with their tongue. All right, hold on, little buddy. Let's wipe it off. Oh, look how nice that looks. Very nice. Very, very nice. And a little conditioner on that so we can smooth that out and condition his little beak. It's okay, little buddy. Yeah, a little nice conditioner and strengthener. Okay, Yay! Let's give him a little bird bath real quick here. Walk the bird, walk the bird. Do you put him on the floor so we can... Yeah, let's put him on the floor so he knows he cannot fly. And that way we'll just mist him down here. There you go. There you go. A little mist. Little bath. Okay, just just relax. Everything is good. Just let him relax.
Ladybird. All is good. Yay! Now you know you can fly. Good. And I'll grab his carrier for you. Oh, I think it's. I think you have him behind you. Good boy. Oh, oh, You're good. You're okay. good. I'll move the tap. Okay. Come on over. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, just what I wanted.